Welcome back guys, today we're going to try to get grass jump 8, but before I do, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content, and also make sure you guys join the discord down in my description below. So first, I just came back from my Liberty Day vacation, and right now I have a lot of rings and observatorium that I need to use. So first, we're going to planetary to reach the next tiers, so I think we should get tier 8, and then now that we have tier 8, we can uh, form the ring. But before I do, I need to make sure that my upgrades are intact. So let me do everything I need to do real quick, and then I'll be back. All right, now that we have everything, let's form the ring. So we get all these cool items. So let's form the ring. And now we have way too much reservatorium. So let me think about what upgrades I want to buy first. All right, so before I get grass jump eight, let me show you guys my measure upgrades. So obviously this is uncapped now, but here's what I have right now. And here are my astral upgrades. So you see I have all this stuff, you might want to max this out before you go to the real world. Alright, so I, let me check out my dark fruits. So I have a lot of dark fruits that I want to spend. So I think I want to spend all my dark fruits on XP. So right now I have 200% in cosmic and 200% in XP. So let's exit the planetoid world and start working on our grass jumps. Also, if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys upgrade your SFRGT stuff. It's very important and it gives you a ton of upgrades. So look at this. I'm getting so many upgrade points. So right now I'm getting 16,000 extra SP right there. So it's very OP for your progress. So make sure you guys don't forget about that. And for my momentum, before I get grass jump eight, I guess I'll purchase some XP upgrades before I go. Purchase normalities, dark matters, and grass. So before I get grass jump eight, here are my upgrades. I got 63, 50, 39, and 41. All right, so we're gonna hop into the reseller world. Let's see what happens at grass jump eight. So I think I, Yep, I have enough levels, so we're going to do the grass jump. So let's see what happens at grass jump 8. Alright, so we unlock the lunar obelisk, and I believe it's in the light forest. So let's go check out what the lunar obelisk is. So we're here in the light forest, and I see that we have this huge lunar obelisk thing. So right now we're generating 1.82 lunar power, so I guess I can pick which one I want to upgrade. So I would... So I think I'm going to try out XP first, so obviously I click what I want, and it starts passively generating lunar power. I don't really know how to increase it as of right now, but you can use this to your advantage to get to the next milestone, which is the constellation milestone. This is one of those things where AFKing definitely benefits you. So before you guys like leave or go to sleep, make sure you guys set it to the right one. So let's see if time skipping works, so I'm going to set it to cosmic. And then I'm going to do another grass jump real quick. And let's see. Let's do a time warp and see if we get more lunar power. So we're going to do a time warp for 1 hour and 30 minutes. Let's go to the light force. And right now we have level 57 in cosmic. So yeah, time skipping definitely works. And somehow we gained lunar power. So I'm assuming lunar power is based off my grass jumps. Let me check the stats board. See if the stats board tells us anything. Okay, so the stats board does not tell us anything, unfortunately. Which is okay, I guess. It's fine. So right now our next goal would be to get level 301 in the planetoid realm. So we're going to work towards that, but before we do it, let's try to get as many grass skips as we can in this world. Another major focus would be our momentum upgrades, which can be done. Another major focus would be our momentum upgrades. And right now, I believe if you guys noticed, we are currently capped by our oil production. So I think the best way to do this is to put some points into our oil. But right now I'm just going to focus entirely on cosmics. But I also want to get my astral prestige up. So that's also very important. Okay, we're six levels away from the next astral prestige. Which just kind of sucks because I don't think we'll be getting it anytime soon. Because look at our progress, it's so slow. But I did another time skip and that's why we're stuck right now. But I do notice that we have more cosmics, so that's nice. I think my priorities will definitely be XP, Cosmic, Dark Fruits, and possibly Clouds. Observatorium is also very important as well. And oil is also very important. So we'll, we'll figure out which one we want the most later on. So let's go back to the planet toys and start working on our planet toys a little bit. See what we can change. So now that we're in the planet toy world, we definitely want to work on our planetaries. Since that's pretty important. I also want to play a little bit as well. Right, we have 261, we need 281. So right now progress is very slow. I don't know why, but it's pretty slow right now. Maybe I did something wrong. I need to figure that out. Oh, actually, I just noticed something new. So right here, we have some new upgrades. So we have lunar power upgrades, which is very important. So I'm going to max this out right away. 
So right now we're getting X6 Lunar Power. And what about this one? Okay. Okay, this is huge. This is actually major. I didn't notice that, but now that but luckily I did because that's very important. So let's check out how much lunar power we're getting right now. 26 lunar power per second. That's actually so OP. So obviously we want to focus our rings. Actually, I could do another I can form another ring to upgrade our lunar power. And honestly, and of course I'll be doing that right now because I want to get more lunar power. Lunar power is gonna carry us all the way to the end game, honestly. So let's see if I can max this one out. So Okay, so if I form the ring again, I'll have enough to purchase the final upgrade. So let's do that real quick. And now that we have this, we're kind of OP now since we're generating 80 lunar power a second. That's actually so broken. If I do a time skip, then I'll definitely have a ton of points in my cosmics. So obviously, our goal is to reach 301, so I kind of want to focus cosmic. But clouds is also a, a, a good upgrade. Observatorium is also a good upgrade. They're all worthy upgrades. So you just want to focus one at a time, basically. Alright, that'll basically be it for this episode. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.